Hey everyone, I'm Manny Romero. And I'm Marty Boardman with Fix and Flip Hub. And we're here in West Allis, Wisconsin, in front of one of our latest before and after transformations of what I like to call the Brady Bunch House. Okay, Manny, I think you're gonna need to explain that reference a little better. Well, for starters, the outside of the house looked like a house you'd see in the Brady's neighborhood. Yeah, we picked this deal up from a wholesaler built in 1969. It's 1,769 square feet with three bedrooms and one bathroom. The exterior was very dated with a stone veneer wrapped around the bottom half of the home. And plywood vertical siding and shutters. All of that would have to go to give the home a modern look. Inside was like a shrine to Carol Brady. While everything was in excellent condition, nothing had been updated in over 40 years. It was like looking at a Sears catalog from 1970. The fixtures, appliances, even the thermostat was original. We'd have to tear out the soffits in the kitchen to install 42 inch upper cabinets. And with all this empty space, put in a large island in the center of the room. All of the wood paneling would have to be removed and in the living room we'd put in new red oak hardwood floors and paint the walls and trim. We'd also have to tear out the paneling in the hall bathroom, install a new vanity and fixtures and update the tub and shower. The basement was partially finished so we'd have to do a little painting and install carpet down there. Our guys wasted no time getting the rock off the sides of the house. It turned out to be a big job. That stuff was the real deal. Heavy and stubborn to remove. With the demo inside complete, our paint crew worked quickly repairing the areas where the paneling once was and spraying the walls throughout the home. The kitchen cabinets were installed and then our painters cut in paint around the base, trim and windows. While all of that was going on inside, on the outside we started hanging a new aluminum vertical siding. Meanwhile, the subway tile went up in a hallway bathroom bathtub enclosure. It took us three months, but we're finally finished. Yeah, and now we call this house the house formerly known as the Brady Bunch House. Gone is the ugly rock border and dated vertical siding and shutters. We used the slate blue contemporary vertical siding to maintain the 70s retro look of the house. Then we wrapped the soffits and fascia in white aluminum so now the entire exterior of the property is maintenance free. We also tore out the pony wall and red brick patio in the back. Now we have a clean paver covered space in the backyard. Inside the Sears catalog kitchen has been completely updated. Now we have light bright functional space that will make Carol Brady jealous. With the soffits removed, we installed white shaker style 42 inch upper cabinets and chrome hardware. Then we added an island in the center of the room with pendant lights and seating for two counter height bar stools. We also added recessed lighting and a light right here for the kitchen table. We stained the new red oak hardwood floors in the living room and dining room, a dark minwax Jacobian brown and put tile in the foyer area. The hall bathroom has been completely transformed. We put in a 48 inch white vanity, new light fixtures and mirror. We installed a new floor and subway towel in the separate shower enclosure. And did the bathtub enclosure to match. The basement is now finished too with new carpet and paint. And if I own the house, you know what I do. What's that Manny? Make it my Manny Man Cave. Nice, that would be really sweet. So uh, yeah, this house is completely done now and ready to go on the market. Yeah, we purchased this house for $135,000. Uh, we spent $90,000 on the rehab, and our all-in cost on this project is $225,000. And houses like this one aren't easy to find in the Milwaukee area. With a fresh, updated look on the outside of the home, and all new features and fixtures on the inside, this place should sell fast. Yes, hopefully for $290,000 or more. Yeah, and that means about $40,000 in net profit for us. I'm Manny Romero. And I'm Marty Boardman with Fix and Flip Hub. Thanks for watching.